Hey guys, I'm Nick, aka the one on Nick's James. Today I'm teaching you guys how you can start a server in Minecraft 1.8.7. It just came out. You want to know how to start a server in it, and uh, let's figure it out. However, this is not a 24 hour server, meaning it is only up when one, your computer is up and running it, two, it's using your own computer's resources, and three, when it's using your own IP address. Now, what's a big deal about all these things? Well, one, using your computer's resources is going to, you know, slow down your computer a little bit. Three, specifically, is uh, is a big one because you can only give your public IP address to your friends and family because people can do some very, very evil things with your public IP address. You don't want to give it out publicly because, again, people can do some evil things with it and it's not the easiest thing in the world to change. So you don't want to, you don't want to give it out publicly to just every random person on the internet or post it on the internet for that matter. If you're not giving it to your friends and family, there's uh, there's a problem there. You gotta just give it to your friends and family. However, I do have a solution for you, and that solution is nixgamescom slash apex. An awesome 24-hour server host, meaning it's up all the time. Even when your computer's on or off, your server will still be live. It doesn't use your own computer's resources, and most importantly, in my mind, you can give it to anybody in the world. It's not just limited to your friends and family. If you wanted to give it post a YouTube video and it goes viral and a million people get that IP address. If it's an Apex server, it doesn't matter. If it's your public IP, it's a big deal. So anyway guys, that is my solution for that. However, if you just want a free server, you don't have to pay a little bit for it and you want to just host it on your own computer, just play with your friends and family, let's go ahead and jump on into this. First off, we want to go to nixgamescom slash mcdownload or minecraft.net slash download. This is where that will take you. This is the second link in the description down below after nixgamescom slash apex, which is where you can go get a 24-hour server. So nevertheless, once you're here, you want to click on minecraft underscore server dot one dot eight dot seven dot exe. So click on that. It will then download it right down here. As you can see, I've downloaded it a few times just to make sure the process was the same. But we can now minimize this. And here we go. And yours won't have this little one after it. Mine does. Because I accidentally left this one on my desktop. So anyway, we'll just we'll just leave that there. We'll fix that one here in a second. It is important we delete the one, but no big deal. Anyway, once it's on your desktop, we can simply right click over here, create a new folder, and you can name this folder whatever you want, right? It doesn't matter. I'm gonna name it 1.8.7 server. You could literally just name it MC or just you know one. It doesn't matter what you name it. The name of the folder doesn't matter. I'm just naming it 1.8.7 server though. So now let's go ahead and click on this file we downloaded and drag it into 1.8.7 server. Once it's in there, you can go ahead and double click on uh, that folder you created and here it is. Now we need to get rid of that pesky one by right clicking, renaming, and getting rid of that pesky one. You probably won't have to do that. Nevertheless, once it's in here, let's go ahead and right click and we want to, where is it at? Run as administrator. And we'll now go through, do some things and woohoo, runs as administrator. You might have to enter your password or whatever for your login on your computer or confirm that it's okay that it does this. I don't have any of those user controls set up because they annoy me. You might have to do that though. And if you do, no big deal. Now let's go ahead and work on the EULA here. So go ahead and double click on that and it will open up in this fancy little notepad document. And we want to change it from EULA equals true to EULA equals, or EULA equals false to EULA equals T-R-U-E. EULA equals true, just like that. Now, before you click save on this folder, it's important that you do go to this website right here, mojang.com slash documents slash Minecraft underscore EULA, and make sure you agree with what is there. I do. This server's not going to break any of that. Make sure yours isn't either. Nevertheless, once you've done that, go ahead and click file, save, and boom, EULA equals true is good. File and save again. If this doesn't save, this next step will not work. So if you have any issues with this next step, that's the first place I'd look. Nevertheless, once you've done that, let's go ahead and right click on Minecraft underscore ULA.1.8.7 again. Again, run it as an administrator. This time, however, a little box opens up. What is this? There's a thing that opened up. In this thing, we can just go ahead and stop right now. It's, it's no big deal. So let's go ahead and type STOB, just like that, and that little box down here. Hit enter. Mine's going to close pretty quickly. Yours might take up to a minute to close. So yeah, there you go. Mine closed. Yours might take up to a minute, so don't be alarmed if it does. But as you can see, once it's gone, there's a lot of other stuff here that wasn't here before, including world and band IPs and all that awesome stuff. So that's pretty cool. Nevertheless, we don't have to worry about any of that except server properties. But before we get on to server properties, we need to do one more thing. We need to open the command prompt. To do that, Hit the Windows scanner keyboard right right there or just hit this button up here. It's the same thing. And it will take you here where you want to then type in the search bar CMD. Once you're here, you want to right click on the CMD and run that as an administrator as well. If you're seeing a thing, we're running everything as an administrator because we're awesome in administrators. Anyway, let's go ahead and type in IP config right here. So IP CN FIG, IP config, exactly like that. Hit enter and we get all this information. But don't worry about it. We're only going to use two other things here. Okay. I'm making this smaller just because. I'm gonna hide it right up here in our 
in our side over here anyway nevertheless let's go ahead and right click on server here or server dot properties this is a properties file so it might say server dot properties here whatever it says don't worry about it the server file in this folder right click on it and open with and then you want to double click on notepad boom there you go now let's go ahead and enter the server IP right here right next to the server IP we want to enter the IPv4 address that is found right over here mine's 192.168.1.196 yours might be something completely different that's perfectly fine don't worry about that take whatever your IPv4 address is right over here and uh, and enter it in next to server IP so 192.168.1.196 what is it? 196. Again, don't panic if yours isn't the same as mine. It probably won't be. But whatever it is, just transfer it over here in the server IP. No big deal if it's different. So file, save again. Save it twice. Make sure it's saved because if it doesn't save, it's not going to work. Initially, I do want to say something real quick about this server properties file. This is where you can go in and change it to where it'll spawn animals or won't spawn animals. Where it, you know, will go in and add a custom resource pack or, or PvP and stuff like that. So you can do a lot in here. So make sure if you want to do some custom stuff in your server, you check out the server properties file. Again, I'm going to save it. We want to make sure that saves. So there's that. You can even go as far as opening back up this file and making sure that the server IP is there. Same thing goes for the EULA, by the way. You always want to make sure the EULA equals true. Because if it doesn't, it's not going to work. Nevertheless, once you've done that, you don't want to close out of this. We're going to keep it open through the entire episode. Or entire video. So now let's go ahead and close out of this folder, though. Because we won't need that for a little while. What we do need to do, though, is go up here to uh, our web browser. And open a new tab. Now, in this new tab, in the, the bar up here, right? The, the website bar where you would go to, like, youtube.com slash nixgames, for example. You want to type in your default gateway. For me, that's 192.168.1.1. For you, it might be something completely different, but don't worry. Just type it in. 192.168.1.1. Boom. And it will now take you to something that looks exactly or completely different from this. And I'm actually already logged in. Too far, Nick. Too far along, you are, Router. So you'll see something like this. The one thing you will have that I also have is a login box of sorts. It might look completely different from the login box I have, like as far as looks and design, but you'll have a login box most likely. What do you enter in the login box? I don't know. Let's figure it out. See, now you want to go to the third link in the description down below, nixgames.com slash router passwords, and uh, click on the router manufacturer here. Now you gotta figure out what kind of router you have. Your router is actually a physical box in your house, so you're gonna have to find your router. You know, search for it, look throughout your house. This might have antennas, or it might not have antennas. It just depends. But nevertheless, find your router, figure out what brand it is. So Netgear, for example, or Linksys, or Asmac, or Aspect, or Asus, or something like that. It's gonna be one of the ones here, by the way. That's why I was. That's where I was pointing this from. And once you've done that, come back and uh, get the the model number on it. So, for example, W N R whatever for Netgear. And uh, let's go ahead and scroll down and find Netgear because that's what I just used. So let's go ahead and find Netgear. Boom. Find password. And once you found the password on this, you can go down until you say find W N R. Let's say you had this one. W N R eight three four. And we then scroll over. We can see we have admin and password as the. Uh, admin and password thing so on your login box you would enter admin and password if it says blank guess what you enter whatever the admin is and then you would say blank no password leave it empty that's how that would work if you can't find it on that site or you do find it on that site and it does not work contact whoever set up the wireless in your house that's going to be your you know like mom your dad your roommate your brother whoever it is find them and they might know it and if they don't know it contact your internet service provider they should be able to help you out. Nevertheless, let's go ahead and uh, and log on into to my router. Okay, don't don't do this to me. There we go. Once you've logged into the router, you will be taken to something that again looks exactly or completely different from what you see right here. Most likely, completely different. Once you've logged in, however, you want to uh, find something for me it's security is where I need to go and then from there I need to go to apps and gaming for you you might need to go to advanced and then advanced again you might need to go to advanced and then I don't know apps and gaming look for something apps and gaming or advanced but what you're wanting to find here is port forwarding for me it is single port forwarding for you it might just be port forwarding or port range forwarding or it might be just port forwarding it might be port forwarding slash port triggering you know there's one thing that's always in there port forward that's what you're looking for. P-O-R-T-F-O-W-A-R-D. 
port forward. Once you've found that, however, now we need to do a single port forward for me. Again, might be something different for you, but you want to add a new port forward. Get don't know what it's going to say for you. For me, it's add a single port forward. For you, it might be just add a port forward, add a port range, whatever it is. Find that, click on that, and now for the application name. Doesn't matter. You can literally put anything in here. We're going to do Minecraft server, though. For you, you can just do Minecraft, you can do MC, doesn't matter. For external port or starting port, you want to do 25565. For internal port or ending port, it could be internal or ending, you want to do 25565 again. So for both ports, enter 25565. You want to do protocol both or protocol TCP slash UDP. And if you just can choose one of them, you want to do this twice. Once for TCP and then once for UDP. Same information except... TCP is one thing and UDP is another thing. Nevertheless, I have both, so I'm going to do both. For device IP number, this is going to be the handy dandy thing we have out here. Our IPv4 address. We keep coming back to that, don't we? Our IPv4 address out here, we need to do 192.168.1.196. Again, yours will probably be completely different, so don't freak out if it is. .1.196. And guess what, guys? The hard part is done. You want to make sure it is enabled if you have that. Most routers don't, but if you do, make sure it is. And click save. There you go. The hard part is done in your server. As soon as you click apply, it is up and running, guys. So if we go back here, we can actually leave this open still because we're going to need that IPv4 address one more time. But we can go ahead and launch into Minecraft. And while Minecraft's opening, right, so let me, let me go ahead and click play. And 1.8.7 here. As you can see, 1.8.7 right down there. So click play. While we're waiting on that, we want to go ahead and open our server folder and right click and again run as administrator on Minecraft underscore server 1.8.7 and that will open up our handy dandy little box right here that will tell us uh, that Nick's Games has joined the server so you guys can't call me a liar and say that this actually didn't work for me, which people seem to try to do. I don't understand that, but anyway. So once you've done that, we are in Minecraft. We want to go to multiplayer here and we want to direct connect to my old... IP address. No, we don't want to do that. Anyway, what we want to do is connect to our uh, to our IPv4 address, which for me is 192.168.1.196. For you, whatever your IPv4 address is over here, that's what you want to connect to. So let's go ahead and click join server. It'll log in, and boom! Here we are in the server, and as you can see, right down there it appeared. Nix Games is in the server. If you want to go ahead and opt myself in this box right here, you can type in OP. Nix games right like that and it now says opt to Nix games so we can now do game mode for example one we can go into creative and fly Woo awesome stuff right so your server is basically up and running but how do your friends join it they don't use your IPv4 address if you've been able to join it off your IPv4 address it is live it is working but how do your friends join it let's go ahead and see so let's disconnect here and uh, get our public IP address to do that you want to go to just Google so just google.com on google.com you want to type two awesome letters i p boom hit enter and there it is your public ip address or for you looking at my screen a black box that just has the number four because you can't do much with just the number four however for me i'm gonna go ahead and copy this that's what you need to do as well you need to copy your public ip address once you've copied it you then want to go to the minecraft server thing again you want to direct connect to again the black box that is the four for you it's going to actually be a number not a black box it's a black box for me because you don't want to share your public ip address so nevertheless once you've got that there you can go ahead and click join server it'll log in do some things and boom this is exactly where we were before to prove to you this is exactly where we were before next games in the game I'll, I'll 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 watch you join it again i'll watch you join it again here so boom again black box except for the four join server and there we go i reappear in the server in the bottom left hand corner Awesome stuff, guys. That's how it works. And you now have a server up and running. Now, what if it won't let you join off your public IP address? That could be a few things. One, most likely, your port forward is wrong. Go back, look at the port forward, make sure you enter the same for the ending port and, and, and starting port, right? So make sure you enter the same for those, or the external and the internal. Make sure you enter the same for those. Make sure you did both TCP and UDP, because if you just do one, it's not gonna do, it's not gonna work. Make sure that's correct. If that doesn't help, it's most likely a firewall on your router, and that is something you're going to have to Google and figure out yourself. Be careful when turning off firewalls in your router. You are losing security there, so make sure you're very confident in what you're doing when you're turning off firewalls. But 
that is most likely what it is. If you still can't join it, there's not really much I can do for you guys. You can look in the comments and, and kind of dig around. It's usually either your firewall or your port forward is messed up. If, if you've turned off your firewall and your port forward is TCP slash UDP and that's all working, we tried to figure out solutions, but we've not been able to figure one out. And if you do, both of those things are correct, and, and you do figure out a solution, post it in the comments. I'll see it, and, and we'll work together, you know, and, and spread that word and make sure people know. There's also an FAQ in the description of this video, so if you do have a problem, go down there, check out the FAQ, and um, make sure that is up and running as well. Make sure that works for you. But nevertheless, you may now have a 1.8.7 server, so congratulations. If you enjoyed this video, please do a good thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. NixGames.com slash Apex. First link in the description down below. You get a 24-hour server. Many people can't run servers because their computer isn't good enough. If your server's lagging and you want to stop that lag, Apex will fix that for you. NixGames.com slash Apex. Go check it out. Awesome server company. Tons and tons of awesome things. You can do modded servers. You can do bucket servers. Spigot servers. Plugins. All that stuff that this server won't let you do. You can do on Apex. So go check that out. Anyway, guys. Hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please give a thumbs up. Again, subscribe. I'm Nick Games. I make awesome Minecraft tutorials and videos and other games videos and stuff every single day of the week. So anyway, guys. Again, Nick Games. And I'm out, guys. Peace. That was an extended outro. Was it a little too long? Probably. And there's some videos you guys might want to go check out. Down that way, we've got how to get texture packs in Minecraft 1.8.7. And that's exactly what that video will show you how to do. How to get texture packs in 1.8.7. Go check it out. And down the other way, we've got what's new in 1.8.7. This version came out, but what exactly did it do? Go check that out uh, down below. Or right over there. No, that way. Down below that way. So go click that, and it'll take you and show you exactly what's new in 1.8.7. So go check it out. Anyway, guys, thanks for watching this video. I'm Nick's Games. Hope you enjoyed. And I'm out, guys. Peace.